Hello everyone, I'm Grimwit, and this video is the solution page for the ground floor of the Let's Play Maze thread on the Something Awful forum. This is the second of five videos. The goons that joined me in the maze really surprised me when they almost completely explored the entire ground floor before touching the basement even. The ground floor is the largest of the three floors. I will cover these rooms in the order that the goons explored them. As I've said before, I do not have all the answers to the maze, and I'm not sure anyone does. These are just the answers that I've discovered or read theories of. First, we must skip room 1 and room 20. Both are actually part of the path, which will be covered in a later video. Room 27. The first thing to notice about this room is that the hole has been dug from the other side, implying that someone has escaped into room 27 and not out to room 9. As pointed out by Sintara, there is a cat picture, which also is meant to imply bad luck. Also, the Latin phrase under the statue, Fata uiam inwinyet, is correctly deciphered by El Tapa Holoco as the fates will find a way. Both of these reference to luck and point to the correct door, which is 13. There is also a heart, a club, a diamond, and two spades. The second spade should tell you that room 13 is the correct room to go to next. Room 9. Well, let's start with the text under this picture, specifically these two lines. This could be a trick of some sort, one said. We might be going around in circles. I don't think so, said the thoughtful one. I think we're supposed to think it's a trick. That's the trick. Note the word trick here has been repeated three times, indicating that the third door is the wrong door. Viggy Nash first pointed out the picture of the three men. These men are unimportant, but there are three of them. Many thought the picture on the right might have been the Taj Mahal, but it's actually a reference to the three wise men. However, this painting has been soiled by the escape tunnel. The picture on the left is obviously a reference to the three blind mice, as Princey has pointed out. They've got their tails chopped off at the end. All these signs are meant to draw attention to door three, but it is the incorrect door. As they say, a trick of some sort. There's always something wrong with the three being used. The blind mice have a bad end. The wise men are covered in dirt. Only the three men in the middle seem to indicate that door three is the proper door. But again, it's wrong. On the other hand, the correct door, door 18, has a picture of an angel behind it and an apple, for some reason. Room 18. This is a musical room, so the only clue I know is musical as well. The notes above door 13 are an A and a C note. A is the first letter of the alphabet and C is the third, one and three, 13. This was pointed out correctly by Princey, but he didn't make the complete connection. No such clue hangs over door 3, which is the wrong door. Door 3. The theme of this room is to have things backwards. The banner is written backwards. What is your sign? There is a backwards stop sign and the pots in the corner. Pots backwards spells stop. I believe Kenthulu was trying to point this one out. The only sign that doesn't work backwards is this way, which instead has been flipped. If flipped correctly, it would still point out door 18, which is the correct way. The sun on room 18 is meant to show that things are getting warmer, a sign that this is the correct door. Finally, the riddle of the Sphinx is, what crawls on four in the morning, two in the afternoon, and three in the evening? The answer to this is man, which is scrawled right next to door 18. Room 33. I'm a little sketchy on this room, but here's what I have. The flutes and the daggers for doors 7 and 35 respectively point downwards into the pit, implying they are the wrong doors. Above each door is a triangle made of three sides, door 3 being the correct door. I know this is a stretch, but I don't really have... I don't, I don't have this one. I, I don't know. Room 13. This, this room, 
In the text, one of the paragraph reads, They were worried it might be Friday. Well, it's true it was closer to the end of the week than they realized, implying that it was Saturday, the seventh day. The clock shows six, which in military time could be 1,800 hours. 18 plus 7 equals 25, which is the correct door. Wow, that's a reach. It's either that or the room just wants you to go the wrong way. All the other signs point to door 18, which is the incorrect door. The missing measurement of time on the wall is the second, which would be door 18. The megaphone is pointing towards door 18. The clock is showing 1800 hours military time. But door 18 isn't right. It's the wrong way. I just think this room is unlucky. Room 25. The clue here is simple. The further from the left to the right you get, the more horrified the face becomes. Door 34 is the correct door. Room 35. Room 35 is one of the two dead-end rooms in the maze. There is a structure with a glove pointing at door 33. It is literally pointing out the only way you can take. Room 7. The toy is being pulled towards room 33. The picture on the right has three nails and three clouds. Three and three make 33. To the left of the door 36, there's a picture with three eyes. To the right, there are two pictures with three eyes. 33 again. Room 16. The picture of the wild man kind of forms a makeshift seven. The machine, whatever it is, over on the left has two inverted sevens holding it up. There is an evil pogo stick smiling at door 36, warning you away from it. Room 36. Not much time was spent in this room because we needed to hightail it back to room 34 and room 10, but I'll cover it anyway. Simple. The masks represent comedy and tragedy. Comedy is the correct choice towards door 7. I've also been told that there's a stone about to fall onto tragedy, but I, I don't see it. Room 34. The stripes of the couch and the pillow form a makeshift 10. The yes and no doors are shadowed, but the maybe door is shined upon. Also, in the text, there's a line, Everyone sat down, some on the floor, and chatted about where they have been and where they should go. This points out a big maybe. There are many references to needles. The sign shows a jibe, which is a needling comment. The pine trees have needles, compasses have needles. There is also the needle of Cleopatra on the wall. Placeholder pigeon noticed that. There's also a reference to eyes. The eye of the needle, the eye on the ship's bow. I'm guessing eyes are round, needles are straight, like a one and a zero. Mm. Room 10. The umbrella flat out points to door 41, the correct door, as pointed out by Viggy Nash, who was pointing at the umbrella, pointing, you know. The volcano is clearly a warning sign against 34, which is a trap door. Room 41. Everyone wanted to go down the slide. Eventually we did. The frog and the fly indicate that the slide is kind of a dangerous trap. I've read one theory that I'm not sure how they work this out, and I'm not sure I believe it either, but all right. The checkered floor, the slide, and the ladder are all reminiscent of a game shoots and ladders, which would indicate that 35 is the correct door, but as we covered, 35 is a dead end, the ladder leading up to 35, and of course the chute leading down the wrong way into Oh, room 38. Okay, however, the finishing blow to this theory is the girl pointing to her eyes, which looks like two zeros next to each other. Putting the one in front of them would make the winning space 100, indicating that door one is correct, which it is. Make of that what you will. Room 14. The paperclip on a string is clearly a trap lure. In fact, all but the door we entered is a trap because door 24 and door 43 cannot be returned from. This is indicated by the text on the page. Afraid to go out? I asked. Not really, said the thoughtful one. The group in the story turn right around and leave the way they came, being the only door they can, door 10. 
Room 21. There are four dark shrubs and four light ones. This points to door 4-4, which is the correct way. Also, the light shrubs are in front of door 44, while the dark shrubs are in front of 24, which is the fail state of the maze. The wrench is double-headed, like the 44 is a double number. This was pointed out by City Beatnik. Placeholder Pigeon noticed that the snakes are the part of the Staff of Hermes. The white head is pointing towards door 44, and the black points to door 24. The bird is pointing to my favorite room, and I don't know why. Room 44. If you look, there are pacing trails made by the alligator, warning away from door 21. Honestly, except for that and the nine that the rope makes on the right-hand side, which also placeholder pigeon saw, I didn't much understand this room at all. It had to be pointed out to me that there are nine spikes on the collar of the alligator, adding the two nines together, which makes 18, which is the correct door. Room 31, my favorite room. The bones of the tree are trailing towards door 44, the correct door. Placeholder Pigeon noticed there is also a skeletal hand reaching out towards door 44. In the text, there is the line. The guide replies, you should say they look very strangely. It's difficult to tell, even with the book in front of me, but the eyes of these faces over the doors 19 and 21 are looking at door 44. Finally, room 19. The statue is a man holding a sun staff. Man and sun is a nod to Christopher Manson. Man, sun. The hat on the statue is the same as the painter, so we can gather that he is Manson in his own book. In the text, there's the line, Get out of the way, someone called. We are clearly interrupting and should go back the way we came in, which is door 31, the correct door. I have also read that the statue is three times the size of the painter, making the scale a three to one. 31 once again. And that wraps it up for the ground floor. If you have any other clues or insights, please leave a comment or post in the Something Awful thread below. I've put a link to the thread in the description. And that is all for me. Have nothing but fun, YouTubes.